Hey guys, this is David the Skin King here from AcneRacingSecrets.com. In this video today, I'm going to talk about the ac uh, an acne-free diet. Uh, and I've talked a lot about diet and its relation to acne in my past videos. Uh, but today, today I just want to share with you some new foods uh, that I came across uh, that I'm eating personally that I really like and uh, are going to be beneficial in helping clearing up your acne and getting your clear skin again. Uh, so first things first, I know I've mentioned this before, but if you haven't seen my videos, I recommend you eat raw organic fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. Now, uh, specifically, and I want to clarify something, uh, I recommend you eat more vegetables, more organic raw vegetables on a daily basis than raw organic fruits. And the reason why is because uh, fruits contain natural sugars. And if you have too much fruit, that can cause an imbalance in your, your uh, insulin levels and your hormone levels in your body. Uh, it's not going to happen as much as if you eat processed sugars. Um, because that has uh, t uh, additives and preservatives and chemicals and things like that in it. But it's still better to include more vegetables in your diet than fruit itself. So um, I recommend you eat a lot of vegetables. Um, things like spinach, carrots, cucumbers, um, you know, anything and everything that's raw and organic that's a vegetable, I recommend. Uh, beets are actually really good. Those are kind of hard to eat. So I actually uh, ferment them. Uh, I create cultured vegetables. Um, so that's an idea too, but uh, definitely more fruits, or excuse me, more vegetables than fruits, uh, because that's going to give you, uh, you know, the nutrition, so the vitamins, the minerals, and the enzymes that that contains, but it's not going to have as much natural sugars as the fruit. But it's still good to have both in your diet because they're both important. Um, so a few things that I want to show you today, like for me, like I eat organic uh, carrots, just like this, mini peeled organic carrots all the time, and I think this bag is only like two bucks. And it's a pound of organic mini carrots uh, from my local grocery store. I don't know if this brand is nationally or globally, you know, whatever. It's probably nationally, I don't know. But um, organic mini carrots are a great snack and they're healthy. Uh, another thing that I've uh, been eating lately, which is awesome, very amazing, uh, great health benefits, are actually uh, figs. As you can see, I only have a little bit left. Uh, and this big container is only five bucks. So this has lasted me a few weeks. And uh, basically, it's this... If you don't know what a fig is, it's like a big raisin, and there's a little like stem, so I like bite into it and then pull the stem out, and then it's like a chewy, it's really good, it's like chewy, like if you've ever had fig newtons, that's, uh, I believe fig in there, but it's kind of old in process, and it's not organic fig, so it's not the same as this at all. Um, but this is organic figs for five bucks. Uh, figs are very alkalizing to the body, so this means that uh, your body, when it's in an acidic state, you want to alkalize it, you want it to become more alkaline, because... Uh, that is going to help balance out your skin, help clear up your skin. So alkalizing your body, uh, drinking more water, watch the video I made called Drinking Water to Clear Skin, and then eating figs are just another great way to alkalize your body and uh, to, you know, alkalize your skin, or excuse me, to uh, alkalize your body so that your skin is balanced, the pH level balances your skin. Your skin is naturally acidic more than the rest of your body, but uh, it's usually uh, it's usually imbalanced. So this is just going to help balance your internal organs that affect your skin, like your liver, your colon, your bloodstream, things like that. Another cool fact is uh, uh, Spartans, like you know the movie Three Hundred, like this is Sparta, that kind of stuff. Uh, they ate figs for muscle building, so kind of a cool fact. But it's good for just uh, staying in shape, staying healthy, alkalizing the body, and it's just. Uh, there's a lot of fiber in it, so it really cleans out your, your intestinal tract. And a lot of minerals as well, which are uh, help carry the and utilize the vitamins uh, and the fruits and vegetables. So figs are just a great superfood. I love organic figs. I highly recommend them. Uh, another thing I have here is uh, I have two um, jars. That's what they're called. Wow. Um, I have two jars of uh, cultured uh, vegetables. One of them here is raw sauerkraut. And that's 100% uh, organic raw sauerkraut. And another one here I have is spicy kimchi. Uh, and this is uh, organic as well. Both 100% organic, as you can see. And uh, they contain raw active enzymes, which are good for your intestinal and digestive systems and the body. Um, the sauerkraut, if you're not familiar, is just uh, it's cultured cabbage. So if you take cabbage, you put it in a jar, you add water, you add like uh, lemon, and you let it sit in 70 degree temperature, that's how vegetables uh, ferment and become cultured. So that's how the sauerkraut works. And as far as the kimchi, kimchi is uh, a dip, it's a mixture of vegetables. Uh, cab I know, okay, yeah, cabbage, carrots, onions, ginger, uh, sea salt, and ground red pepper. So this is a little bit spicy, and I really like kimchi. Sauerkraut I actually like too, um, but um, they're, they're both 
pretty good. So um, I like sauerkraut and kimchi both. Um, last thing I want to share with you uh, is a drink I get called kombucha. It's organic and raw. And as you can see here, it just like comes in a bottle. And this is a little bit, a little bit more. It's I want to say it's like three bucks for this bottle. So it's a little bit more than like an energy drink or a soda. Uh, but it contains 100% um, organic raw kombucha, uh, blue, blue green algae, spirulina, spirulina and chlorella. Which uh, these are uh, um, a lot. It's basically this multi green is kind of like sea. Uh, uh, vegetables, if you will, uh, which are high trace minerals, which is a form of minerals that your body needs, and uh, that the the greens in here are just amazing. Um, this also contains uh, it's a probiotic drink, so just like the cultured vegetables, this is a probiotic drink, and um, it's basic. The probiotics are good bacteria for your gut. So bad bacteria is what causes acne to grow on the body or on the skin. Uh, but it, bad bacteria forms in the body, so the imbalance of good and bad bacteria in your gut is caused from an imbalance of not having enough good bacteria in your diet. So that's why I recommend sauerkraut and kimchi because they have good bacteria in them, good probiotics, that's what bacteria and good bacteria are called, as well as kombucha, the drink. And kombucha tastes really good, it's like, like, like it, it's like soda, it's like, you know, fizzy and stuff, so it's kind of a good replacement. Um, but yeah, that's it for that. Um, figs, once again, figs, carrots, um, fermented cultured vegetables in kombucha. And like I said, eat is a lot of raw organic fruits and vegetables, specifically more vegetables than fruits. And then if you can, decrease things like processed foods, snacks, chips, crackers, cookies, uh, Twinkies, anything that's processed, candy, ice cream. Anything that comes in a container or package, I know these do, but these are a little bit different, uh, it's pretty much processed. So um, lower the, pro the process into your diet. The other thing too is uh, meat and dairy that are not organic and free range. Replace r uh, regular meat and dairy with organic free range meat and dairy because it's higher quality and it's not going to be pumped with steroids and hormones to make the meat and dairy, you know, you know grow quicker so the farmer can make more money or the company can make more money. Uh, when it's organic free range, it's healthier, meaning when you eat the dairy or meat, it's healthier for your body. So that's another important thing. And overall, most people eat too much dairy and they don't have the enzyme uh, in their gut, in their diet, through fruits and vegetables to uh, even allow the dairy to digest. So if you're eating more dairy than fruit, uh, or more dairy than fruits and vegetables, uh, or more you know, uh, meat and dairy than fruits and vegetables, uh, that's, that's an imbalance. You want to have more fruits and vegetables and less meat and dairy. Um, so it's like kind of like 80% 80, 80 fruits and vegetables, like 20% meat and dairy, if you will. Something more like that. And most people have it kind of mixed around with, you know, other stuff. Like processed foods and junk and meat and dairy, 80% and 20% maybe, if that, healthy food. Um, so, um, just a quick review of this video. Eat as many raw organic vegetables and fruits as you can, preferably more vegetables than fruits. Uh, drink 50% of your body weight in ounces of water each day, and that's purified or spring water. Uh, get cultured, fermented, cultured and fermented are the same thing. Get cultured vegetables in your diet, whether it's sauerkraut, whether it's kimchi, or it's your own home, homemade, um, you know, uh, cultured vegetables. Because all you do is you dice up vegetables, put them in a jar, and then you let it sit, and you can create your own cultured vegetables. And cultured vegetables taste different. They have a little kick to them. It's kind of like a little... Um, like a sour taste almost because you add lemon and lime in it uh, and it makes, that's what creates the, the good bacteria to grow on the vegetables um, but it's actually pretty good and once you acquire a taste for it it's like kind of really good and you kind of just keep eating it um, so that's another thing so get cultured fermented vegetables and then there's drinks too like kombucha that are include probiotics as well um, which are the same as the cultured fermented vegetables so if you get more fruits and vegetables in your diet more product, probiotics and fermented foods that have that good bacteria and eat less of the processed foods dairy and uh, meat that is a good very good base acne free diet that's a very good baseline acne free diet and uh, basically what I did was I created uh, the secret acne cleanse uh, PDF report uh, to help you jumpstart uh, your acne free diet and to help you get into the uh, rhythm of eating healthy again and, and eating to benefit and help clear up your skin. Uh, so if you haven't gotten the Secret Acne Cleanse yet, it's completely free. I was going to charge for it, but I didn't because I love helping people and I absolutely enjoy uh, getting the emails, the, the Facebook fan page posts and the YouTube comments and messages. 
with, you've changed my life, you've cleared my skin forever. So I love that. So I gave it away for free. All you have to do is go below in the description, click the link to visit my Facebook fan page at facebook.com forward slash acne erasing secrets. Click the like uh, button on the fan page and then tell, give me your name and email and I'll send it to you. Uh, just right after you hit like, there's a form with your name and email. You put that in and push the button and then it's sent to you automatically. So go below, click the fan page and get your free report. That's it for this video. This is David Steen King from AcneRacingSecrets.com. We're clearing the acne of the world. 1% of the time starting with you. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, favorite, comment, share. Leave your questions, thoughts, and feedback below. And like my fan page below in the description to get the free report. We'll see you in the next video. Have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.